So, last flight you took a lot of photos, especially also from airports. Yeah. And then what a uh, brilliant photos. Uh, I've seen your book. I love it. It's, it's for me, it's now the level where, where, I, need, <laughs> where I want to grow to. What are the plans for the next flight? More oh. photos? Or Oh, is it still a secret? It's mm. a secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, Just taking photos of pyramids. <laughs> yeah, because I was very bad at this. But no, no, they, I don't have uh, firm plans, but, but you'll see, we'll talk about your plans next. But the, even the first time, I didn't know if I was going to like taking pictures, if I was going to yeah. have the time, yeah. if I was going to be any good. Yeah. Um, so I just went and then I realized I really liked it. And so I used my free time a lot for this. Um, but the result is I had the feeling to spend six months in time with zero free time yeah. because yeah. the days are long it's quite and then in the evening I was adding all this extra burden on myself like yeah. oh you have to take pictures you have to work with them you have to find the best ones you have to put them on social media uh, and then oh, you have to film some sequences etc etc and it never just never 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 yeah. stopped yeah. Um, so the second time around again I plan to maybe uh, spend some time just in the cupola, just look at the earth, which I never did. Because every time I was seeing something beautiful, I was like, oh, I absolutely have to take a picture. Yeah. So without my camera settings, what should I be doing? Chick, 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 chick. And it's like when you travel and you see everything through yes. your camera, yes. yeah. you have to take some time for, for you. So I don't know what, what your plans are, you're going to tell us. But, uh, but I think maybe, don't tell, don't tell the people, but maybe I'll take less pictures <laughs> uh, and I'll try to enjoy it more for me in a selfish way. Well, maybe. I, I think Less pictures doesn't mean that you don't take pictures no. because how many? You took thousands of pictures, so it's like you easily could have released like 10 books with it. So it's like just take yeah, my plan is just to take the good pictures, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not how it works because <laughs> initially, initially, you'll see. I mean, it's there's a learning curve, um, and space photography can only be practiced in space. Yeah, I mean, you can put yourself in similar conditions, yeah. but it's not quite the same. Yeah. Uh, especially night pictures so there's a learning curve and initially you don't necessarily take the best pictures initially yeah. you take kind of the more scenic pictures the yeah. curvature of the earth yeah. uh, things like this but those are the easy pictures to take yeah. take a camera snap it and then you focus more and more you do night pictures you take the zoom in photos yeah. um, and those are more difficult to take but but surprisingly people like the first type of picture more because they give you a feeling of you're yeah. in space. Yeah. Whereas for the zoomed in pictures, people told me, oh, I can have them on Google Maps. Yeah. I was like, yes, because Google Maps is satellite pictures. So it's the same, except that you're this one. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. do the first ones before, my advice. It's true, true. And taking inside the, um, inside the module, actually I find it quite challenging. We had the photo class this week. So either it's the person is nice in, in, like in good color and light, but everything around is either gray or the background is gray, dark, or it's like illumination is quite a challenge. Yeah. And even if you have the cupola with very bright reflections from the earth below. So I think there's a definitely a learning curve. Yeah, but, uh, but it's good that you've, you've already understood everything, I guess, because this is the most challenging thing. You're gonna have cupola extremely bright in the background and all the inside of the space station is dark. We have lights, but still yeah. it's not like daylight. So if you solve the light problem, this is your challenge, Matthias. Very good. I task you to solve the light problem, <laughs> and I know you will do it. OK. I think one of the challenges I would like to bring my small camera to the station. So yes. if you guys like our nice video clip here, then please vote for us and uh, support us to ESA, saying like, uh, these guys need to bring a nice uh, 360 camera. <laughs> All right. Welcome to. The astronaut coffee break without coffee. Yeah. It's not really a break. And yeah, follow uh, Matthias's adventures and I'll try to I'll try to show up once in a while. Follow our adventures. All right. <laughs> Ciao.